IWGP United States title. He's got it, but it's on dynamite. And he came out to such a pop. He came out to the crowd hopping. He was firing away right away. And man, does it look good around his waist, holding the high. And he oh. showed, man. He put. He didn't just put down someone. He put down John Moxley, and you, who and is John. Yeah, the top guy, who I thought is Mister Protected. You know, yeah. I love that. You know, before the match, we saw killer promos. If you watch Row Two, those back-to-back promo was amazing. And then they saw even another promo here Moxley's tonight. Moxley's buildup of of Archer in that row, yeah. like that was fantastic, right? I mean, he he basically put Lance over such a huge way even before the match started. You know, mm-hmm. he, we hear at Dynamite Download sing the Murder Hawks praises a lot, and SPD. I know going into this matchup, it felt like you know I was, I had a feeling. Right. If you go back to last week's show, I had a feeling that this was going to be, this was going to be different. I know right. that we've seen a trend. We've seen that track record of the Murder Hawk getting those big shots. You know, kind of building up his his credibility and getting a big title shot, and then somehow losing. Um, yeah. I had a feeling that this match was going to be different with his history and with this belt, with this being a Texas death match um, in his home state. Uh, going for getting that ultimate revenge against Mox here, I thought it was it was a brilliant decision to go this way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we we hear Donovan, Don, we see it right. It, Lance has earned this run. Um, it'll be a lot of fun to see what it's, what's next for the Murder Hawk. Uh, right. it, this match, dude, I, I had a feeling these two. When I like when I'm thinking about certain wrestlers that respond better when they get busted open, you know, busted open or get busted in the face, the murder Hawk and Moxley are near the very top of that list, right? Both these guys almost feed off of that, that anger, that violence that comes and what a violent match this was. Oh man, it was disgusting. (laughs) <laughs> the disgusting fork, the rapid fire oh. fork shots that i will never look gave. at a fork the same <laughs> oh. yeah man that was just uh, a bloodbath it was disgusting i don't and think i'll ever look it. at a fork the same either after uh tonight oh, no. uh, eating the tuna fish and, and peanut butter bites. combo you yeah, ready dude, let, hey, let's yeah All let's right, go so murder hawk this one's for you um you know but let, let's see if it's as bad as i think it's gonna be you swear by it <laughs> Um, I'm going to eat one on Friday because I just got home from out of town and there was no tuna. So I'll take a spoonful of peanut butter just as an appetizer with you, just to join on, you, help a brother out. But all right. Let's see your right. uh, tuna and I'm going to take a big, I got a big mouth, y'all. Why don't you I just am. make it like a taco, great fish, and eat it? I'll eat it like a quesadilla, like you said, like a taco. Here we eat go. Eat that. All right. Mmm. Mm. You are a foodie. <laughs> you. You oh are a huge god. foodie, so I want to know your your true reaction. Oh my god! Oh, that awful. good? <laughs> I don't know if I... Lance has killed you. <laughs> so you're telling me you love it, man? So Bob, delicious. <laughs> what was your what was some of your high highlights of the match? <laughs> yeah. Like one of Watch my favorite down. parts was when. Um, Lance Archer punched Moxley with the trash can lid. It echoed through oh, the whole awesome. arena. I was like, this was sweet, man. And the crowd was chanting, this is awesome, uh, so much. And it was well, well deserved. And oh, yeah. y- you could tell, I mean, when Moxley's music hit, yes, the crowd's always going to be hot for Moxley. <clears> but <throat> as soon as Murder Hawks hit, man, they pop were on their feet. For him they were on their feet. Yeah, it was a different kind of pop, man. And, and that was an awesome spot. My favorite was probably when – when he kind of countered on the on the turn, like was right there, right about to fall in, he counters and he throws Mox. I'm like, and I look at the clock. There's a minute left in the show, mm-hmm. and I'm like, there's nothing else is coming after that. That's it. It's game over. And uh, that was awesome. I felt just awesome for Lance and just excited for him. And great, I'm, I'm stoked to see where he's gonna go now and what they're gonna do and and how they're gonna book this. If he's gonna be wrestling in, in New Japan or if they're gonna be having him defend the belt on Dynamite more. Obviously how much, going to next how week. much has Moxley defended that belt outside of AEW over the past six to eight months? Do you know? I know he's done it at least a, a handful of times. It would be good for Lance to defend it, you know, globally and, and right. keep bringing it and it's showing gold around his waist. Um, a more meaningful title than the FTW title, you know. So um, as we've seen the NWA women's title, the FTW title, and now this title – shown on AEW television, it's always great to have, you know, P- 
people who deserve gold show gold. And, you know, the champions right now are pretty indestructible in AEW. So this helps it, helps it so much. It was a great booking. And props to Lance Archer, man. Yeah, thanks for taking right the now. bloody image off the screen. Between that and the, the peanut butter and tuna fish, I'm ready to throw up. Um, so how would you rate that peanut butter and tuna fish before we go on to the next match? In the leader delete. Bro, <laughs> um, I took I – took, you know me, like a huge freaking bite. half the sandwich. Yeah. Um, I'll eat one on Friday. I'm not scared after so I, I draft him. Um, it's still initiating a little bit of a gag reflex. I'm not going to lie. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, wow! If I put a little bit on a, like a trisket, um, instead of eating like half of a can of tuna and um, peanut butter together, I could see why Lance likes that. Um, man, that, that is that is gnarly. Um, but um, I can kind of flavor. Yeah, I got jalapeno. So I I kind of get like the, the like the peanut butter and like. It's kind of I can get go down that vibe. I can see why he why he's into it. A lot of protein. Um, yeah, but <clears throat> um, not for me. Um, thank God I had a little. Here's to the lounge daddy. I'll, I'll cheers to him. Here's to the lounge. Daddy. I can get down with the lounge daddy vibe, Lance. I I don't know if cheers. I can get down with the peanut Here's butter Friday. and some tuna fish, but lounge daddy's for life. But <clears throat> going into this match, man, I had that feeling. I I just felt like. Lance was going to to seize the moment. Um, we've been we've been craving it uh, for for quite some time here at Dynamite Download, and and did he do it in such an epic fashion? I mean, you go. My biggest oh my goodness, sorry guys. You're good. <laughs> my biggest reaction to this really was, and I know immediately as the heel, maybe I'm going it's the negative mentality, right? But I immediately went to that. Death match, barbed wire death match between Moxley and Omega, mm-hmm. and and I felt like AW props to them for not being afraid to go back to that well of a death match and not running from that. And quite right. honestly, I felt like Moxley and and Archer here kind of reestablished the benchmark for what a death match should be in AW. They they set the bar. Um, the violence in this one was on point, but like, spilling into the crowd. I thought, it, I thought at the one point when Archer body slammed a fa- that fan into oh, Moxley, I, I was like, that's going to be the coolest part of this match, right? But in reality, it was just one of many really, really cool moments in this match. Um, you know, the, the, the ending of the match I felt was absolutely perfectly executed. Um, Lance, that choke slam into the mm-hmm. barbed wire covered tables. Uh, Moxley literally being stuck by barbed wire where you can't get up um just beautiful storytelling no wonder why the murder hawk seized the top performer seized the IWGP uh united states championship it's a beautiful thing um and honestly bonds i know when after we saw the murder hawk go down to miro recently yeah it felt like I've been doing this show for from day one with SPD, and this dude has been a, a murder hawk maniac from the get. It felt like for the first time, I was trying to <sighs> blow some wind in his sails as a murder hawk fan because it felt like he was so deflated. <laughs> it felt like he he was so bummed, um, and and this was such a needed rejuvenation to his momentum wasn't 100%, 100% it 100 percent, 100 percent needed for sure i mean clean sweep for that top performer you know it's been one of those roller coasters of a ride with him like i mean if you haven't listened to the unrestricted podcast he was just recently on he talks about the match between him and ray phoenix being one of his favorites in AEW, and that one absolutely blew the roof off the place and I completely agree. And that was when he was going on that tear where he was my top performer week in and week out for a consistent like four or five weeks. And he was the backbone of AEW television for a while. Yep. And it was, it's just the loss to Muro, I think, hurt him more than it helped him um, at that pay per view. And then now we're the crowd behind him and everyone behind him. I think we, we see that. And this loss, Moxley is not going to lose any steam. It's only going to elevate Lance even more. If Lance lost, I think it would have done more harm than good for sure. And and they booked it right. They booked it correct. And, you know, we're all happy. 
including your belly at that tuna fish and peanut Everybody butter. goes home happy at the end. They get a, a nice yeah. – they get the, the, the W at the end. The, the crowd was obviously hot for most of this this night, right? Um, yeah. But seeing Lance, the, the hometown guy, come out on top – and it was hard, right, because it's hard to root against John Moxley. This dude is – It is. But this guy anybody. is so good. Moxley is right. such a, a, a great first-round draft pick. Um, it, it, you know, he's, those he's a top guy. Um, it's the number one, the, one overall, the number one overall pick. Uh, no, I, I honestly do feel like you know, Moxley is a universally recognized as a, a pro's pro. These two went yeah. at it. Um, brought they, I mean, again, I felt like they redefined the death match in yeah. AEW, so that to me was a big moment for this company. Um, in, in a big, in a big stage. Uh, a lot of eyes on the product. A lot of people out there criticized AEW after what happened between Kenny Omega and Moxley. For right. them to – I mean, I wish I could wash the taste out of my mouth as emphatically as this <laughs> match did when it came to the ending of the, that last death match we saw. Great job by both guys involved. JR described it at times during this match that it felt like it was a war. This didn't even feel like a pro wrestling match. This felt like an absolute beating. Uh, these right. two went toe-to-toe. Um, SPD, I know that you usually like those long buildups to a match. Mm -hmm. This was uncharacteristically not that way for AEW. Usually they like to do a lot of long builds. Uh, Did that impact this match at all? Do you feel like – I know that the road two went a long way for you. Um, Do you feel like next – the next – What's the next chapter, I guess, for for Lance Archer now that he's the the champion? Do you see him getting into little matches like this, or do you see a big long term f- feud emerging for Lance? I don't see any feud with Moxley or a direct competitor. I think, like as we saw at the end of Dynamite, you know, next week's match versus a massive guy versus another massive guy, it's going to be uh, an excellent first title defense match to really get it back in back in and Lance on continued push on TV. Um, it's, it's great, man. I cannot wait. Um, what emerges from it? Um, it's hard to book, you know, I, I was, I was happy and surprised that we saw this and I hope it's one of those, he doesn't necessarily have to defend it constantly, but at least you see them carry it out. It makes his matches even more meaningful. Not that they were never weren't, but right. more meaningful, you know? Right. So, um, absolutely great. And you know,